How's it going, everybody? This is Gal Transform Mall. I have today something pretty exciting. It is a Dialga Level X tin. So this is a pretty old tin, especially when you consider how many uh, tin releases they have uh, each year. Especially lately, there's at least like two or three sets released each year. Um, but this came out in 2009, and obviously that was back in the Diamond and Pearl and Platinum series set days. And of course, features a level X card for the promo. Uh, this one obviously is a Dialga level X tin. Other ones in the set were a Giratina and a Shaman. So, sorry to those that are still looking for that EX tin. <laughs> uh, interestingly, they didn't do Palkia with the group uh, and instead did Shaman, but. I don't know the reason for back then why they would have done that. Uh, but interestingly, uh, according to what what's on the back of this anyway, uh, let's just focus, I guess, so you guys can see it clear. Uh, in this, we will have uh, four packs, two Diamond and Pearl series and two Platinum series, uh, one of three foil level X cards, which is the Dialga one, obviously, and then a window for displaying the cards, whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I didn't even look at the back before I did the video, so I was honestly just expecting Platinum Series in this, only because uh, 2009 would have been the year before Hard Gold, Soul, Silver, I think, so I, I would have expected just Platinum Series, so the fact that it seems to be a mix, I'm hoping it's actually the case, because I would not mind a mix of both uh, inside of this. Uh, probably like Stormfront and Platinum, maybe. Probably like, It's probably like an in-between for the series, I'm guessing so like Stormfront would be like the end of Diamond and Pearl. Platinum would obviously be the start of Platinum. So I'm, I'm betting on those two at least. Uh, but let's have to open this up and see. Let's get into this. Really excited for this old tin. Hoping for something really nice out of whatever packs we have inside. So in the background today though, we have Sharktagon, Bulbasaur, and Soundwave, who is a Transformers Dark of the Moon uh, Walmart exclusive figure that came in a three pack of other legions. Or Cyberverse figures, I guess. So, looks like Platinum's right on top. Yeah, Platinum. All right, cool. So, can we focus? yeah, we can focus that a little better. So, there's the Dialga Level X promo. Diamond and Pearl, 37. Very, very nice. Leaping out of the card with the foot stomps on the outer border of the picture. <laughs> very, very cool. No codes, because there was no online TCG game back then. Uh, so inside we have two Platinum, Stormfront, and Mysterious Treasures. That's really surprising. Like, that is quite a few sets between... Uh, there are quite a few sets between Mysterious Treasures and Stormfront, but I'm not going to complain too much, because really any Diamond and Pearl series would have been nice. And I have opened a box of Stormfront, so hopefully we can at least get a new reverse or something. Uh, but we'll, I don't I don't have a set list for any of these on my phone, so we're just going to open them up and just hope afterwards that I got new cards. And we're going to hope now that even if we don't get new cards, maybe we can still get something really cool. Level X's obviously would be the choice. Uh, we have the Execute out of the Mysterious Treasures pack, Cyndaquil, Pikachu, Doduo, Remoraid, Unknown E, Bebe Search, and Tropius. Reverse is an Electric. That is a common, number 81. All right. The rare card is an Obama Snow, which is a non hollow, but interesting to see Obama Snow as a grass type. I don't know the last time we had that. Because <laughs> the last two Obama Snow and Snover cards I can think of were both water types because of the ice attribute of Obama Snow. Like specifically, what I remember is the uh, Breakthrough and then Plasma Blast for Snover and Obama Snow. Uh, but here in the Stormfront pack, we have a Starly, Switch, Skorupi, Voltorb, Ghastly, Dusclops, Sableye, and Marley's Request. The Reverse is a Scyther, that is an uncommon, yep, uncommon, so pretty cool. The rare is a hollow Empoleon, very nice. We at least have average fulls for the four packs with a hollow here. Pretty sure this is one I have already. 
but that's still very nice to at least get a hollow out of this tin. But let's see if we can get anything else out of the platinum packs. I know for a fact this has not just level X, uh, level X cards, but also some reprints from the original sets. I know Electabuzz, I think, is one, and I think there might be two others. Uh, but we'll just have to see what we get. We have a Riolu, Happini, Barm Pole, Lotad, Armor Fossil, Poke Turn, not saying that whole thing, <laughs> and Pokeball. Oh, and Rainbow Energy. Armor Fossil, oh, Armor Fossil was a common, that's why. <laughs> that that threw me off so bad. Just like, we got four trainers and an uncommon energy. What? What? <laughs> um, or three trainers and an energy? Whatever. Uh, the reverse is a Cascoon. That is an under, another uncommon. Pretty nice. The rare card is Altaria. That is just a non hollow, but hopefully something I need. Again, I don't have a set list, so I'm not going to check anything because I don't have anything to check. So, final pack features Palkia, which is funny enough, the guy they left off the tins for this group. So, let's hope Palkia can maybe give us some last pack magic here. And so, we have a Chimchar, Remoraid, Grimer, Diglett, Poochiana, Grodel, Primplup, and Seviper. Reverse is <laughs> the Viper, so back to back to the Viper. That is uncommon once again. Uh, the final rare card is just a Blissey non holo rare. So, overall, average pulls out of the four packs. We had mostly uncommon reverses with the one common, uh, but we did have one holo pull with the Empoleon at a Stormfront. So that thankfully made at least average pulls. And of course, we got this Dialga level X promo, which. <laughs> sneeze break. Oh, bad timing. Okay. Uh, which hopefully is one I actually needed for my collection. I didn't check beforehand. I just saw a really nice price for this tin on eBay and decided to jump on it. So I am very happy with the tin, though. Hopefully, the reverses are new and I can add them to my collection. Uh, but that will do it for the video, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more. Have a great day.